Hey folks, Johnny the Queer Potus here, and I am sitting at the base of the grave of America's 15th Secretary of State. His name was Abel Parker Upshur. And if you live in Washington, D.C., you know Upshur Street uh, with all its lovely restaurants that leads up to the soldier's home. This is that Upshur. He was a Secretary of State during the Tyler administration, and John Tyler picked him because he was a Southerner who supported things like expansion and was very fond of the institution of slavery. And John Tyler was a really desperate president at that time. He had very low approval rating. His own party had actually kicked him out, the Whig party. And so the appointment of Abel Upshur really breathed new life into the Tyler administration. In particular because uh, John Tyler was thinking about annexing the Republic of Texas into the Union at that time. Uh, the Republic of Texas had broken off of the state of Mexico in 1836. It was populated by a lot of American settlers, particularly slaveholders, uh, because Texas is very rich in cotton. And so John Tyler, who was a very desperate president, wanted to revive his image by delivering the state of Texas to the United States, which would be particularly popular among the slaveholders of the South. The difficulty was gonna be convincing people from the North that this was a good idea, and so the appointment of Abel Upshur was actually quite strategic in that regard. Abel Upshur was not seen as a radical pro-slavery guy. He was actually rather moderate, although he did support slavery. And he assured many of the Northern senators and congressmen who'd be voting on whether or not to annex Texas, that this would not be about expanding slavery and that he could potentially even uh, obfuscate the possibility of a war with Mexico by his skilled uh, negotiation tactics. And so the American people, including the Northerners, uh, had some trust in this guy as a moderate voice in the Tyler administration. The Congress was very close to signing off on the treaty to annex Texas, which Abel Upshur had so skillfully prepared. But uh, fate intervened to significantly change the circumstances uh, in a way that proved fatal for Mr. Upshur. Uh, as you might be able to see here on the grave, his death date is February 28th, 1844. Before Upshur became the Secretary of State, he was Tyler's uh, Secretary of the Navy, and he had done a really good job kind of reviving the American Navy, uh, creating a buildup, and trying to put the United States Navy back on the map. It was a really kind of in a pathetic state at that time. And so he had earned a lot of credit for himself doing that as well. Uh, as Secretary of State, he knew that the annexation of Texas had the possibility, in fact, the likelihood of provoking a war with the Republic of Mexico. And so Upshur wanted to show that the U.S. Navy would be up to snuff if such a case occurred, uh, that under his direction, we could have full trust that our Navy would be superior and able to crush uh, any possibility of the Mexicans attacking Texas. And on February 28th, 1844, he and Tyler, the president, and uh, a bunch of other cabinet ministers and about 400 people uh, took a voyage down the Potomac on the brand new high-tech naval vessel, the Princeton. And the Princeton boasted uh, this really big gun on its deck called the Peacemaker. Ew, uh, um, so this was kind of a festive environment, but it was also uh, a photo op, perhaps, before the time of photo ops, uh, for Upshur and Tyler to show the supremacy of the American Navy. Well, as the ship leisurely cruised down the Potomac River, uh, they fired off the Peacemaker a few times, and the crowd thought it was amazing. They clapped, they loved it. Uh, Tyler himself got a little bored, decided to go downstairs to the bow of the ship and flirt with this 20-something year old girl named Julia Gardner. Uh, <laughs> he ended up marrying Julia, who was half his age, but uh, that's not the subject of this video. Point is, Tyler was not on deck when the ship passed uh, Mount Vernon, the home of George Washington, America's first president. Many of the people in the crowd, some of them likely under the influence of alcohol, shouted uh, that they ought to fire off the gun one last time in a salute to our first president, George Washington. Well, they twisted their arm a little bit, finally decided, all right, let's fire this gun off one more time. And when they fired it off, it exploded and shrapnel, heavy shrapnel flew in all directions. 
Uh, people were just mowed down. There was blood everywhere. And when the dust cleared, it was discovered that Secretary of State Abel Upshur had been instantly killed in the blast. Upshur was replaced by a much more radically pro-slavery guy named John C. Calhoun, who made absolutely no effort to obfuscate the fact that Texas was gonna be a slave state and that this was uh, a move to protect slavery, to spread slavery. He wrote a letter to the British ambassador talking about the virtues of slavery and how Texas would help ensure that America would be a slave country. And this letter was leaked to the press by Calhoun himself on the day before the Senate was gonna vote on the treaty to annex Texas. Now, why did he do this idiotic thing? Well, he hoped that it would cause President Tyler to embrace slavery and Texas would be the tipping point for slave supremacy in the United States. But it had the opposite effect. It just scared a lot of the Northern representatives off. And as a result, the treaty was not passed and Tyler was not uh, re-nominated by either party in the next election. Instead, a Tennessee governor named uh, James K. Polk actually just kind of grabbed the Texas annexation issue out of John Tyler's hands and was nominated for the Democratic Party nomination in 1844 uh, as the pro-annexation candidate. So John Tyler was made irrelevant at that point. Polk won the election by a very slim margin and he ended up not only annexing Texas, but all of the land of today's United States stretching all the way to the Pacific Ocean, California, Oregon, Washington. So that's Abel Upshur and his most well-known contributions to American history. If you live in the state of Texas, uh, this guy really tried to help bring you into the United States. So you have him to thank for that, although he was not uh, ultimately successful in doing so before he was suddenly and tragically killed in the explosion on the Princeton.